I think many of us are familiar with the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And it all began in 1531 in the cold month of December in what's now Mexico City. The story of Our Lady of Guadalupe is contained in a document called Nican Mopoa. It was written by Antonio Valeriano around the year 1560. It is said that he heard the stories about the apparitions firsthand from Juan Diego himself. In the document Nican Mopoa, Antonio Valeriano says that about 10 years after the Spanish conquest had taken place and all arms were down, an, an Indian by the name of Juan Diego was passing by the hill called Tepeyac. It was on this hill that Our Lady appeared to him. Although we might think that Our Lady only appeared to Juan Diego once, she appeared to him several times. And throughout those apparitions, she gave Juan Diego the message, the message of her son. And the message was that she wanted her son adored in this new continent. In one of those apparitions, she asked Juan Diego to go speak to the newly appointed bishop, Fray Sumarraga, to have a small church built for the worship of her son. Even though the newly appointed bishop, Fray Juan de Sumarraga, was first hesitant to build said little church, he asked Juan Diego to ask Our Lady to give him a proof that it was truly the Mother of God coming to him and asking for this church. During a subsequent apparition, Our Lady asked Juan Diego to climb to the top of the hill and find there the sign that the bishop was asking for, roses. It was a month of December. Roses do not grow in Mexico City at that time. It's too cold. When he climbed to the top of the hill, he found roses. He cut a couple of them and brought them to Our Lady, just as she had asked. He placed them in his tilma. Our Lady gave him instructions to not show that sign to anybody but Bishop Fray Sumarraga. And when he finally made it to Bishop Sumarraga, he unveiled a sign that he had asked for. Little did he know that when he unveiled the sign to Bishop Sumarraga, the image of Our Lady was stamped to his tilma. When Bishop Fray Juan de Sumarraga saw the image stamped on the tilma of Juan Diego, tradition has it that he fell to his knees and venerated the image with great sorrow because he did not believe at first 